There's a warper. That sound is horrific. Oh my god. Nope. 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 This is where you go when you're ready to go deep, deep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. That's the ghost leviathan. These fish, man. These fish are doing some damage. Boo. Hey, can you stop? Holy crap. Did you just come out of the rock? What the hell? So what's up everyone? Welcome back to Subnautica. I used my battery charger here to charge up all my tools in between the last episode and this one. So all of our tools have a nice battery charge on them. I also gathered a few more resources just so we had a little bit of copper, a little bit of titanium in here. And I also went and made some more solar panels. We were using energy about as fast as we were producing it with just three solar panels. So I made a couple more. And as you can see at the top there, we are at 450 total max energy. We're kind of using it as fast as we can produce it right now anyway, but by having 450, that means overnight we will still have energy to use. We're not going to run out when the sun goes down at night. I also do have a bed so that way I can sleep at night, which means we'll basically always have energy because when the sun goes down, I can just go back to sleep and it'll produce more energy in the morning. So we have the Aurora's Rendezvous point at dry land over there. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. But one of the things that we never went and did was we did get a voice message that had corrupted data points and we never actually went and found them. So we should probably look for that life pod first. This one. This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay, so we're going to have to put on the radiation suit, and we're going to have to head to the Aurora. And it said a kilometer from the crash site. It did not give us a direction, sadly. There's typically one that floats at the top. I think that might be... Um, life pod four though so we're at the crash site and we're 650 meters from home okay this is the edge of the crash site so we're looking a kilometer away from here and i'm really hoping oh my god that's terrifying that sound is horrific oh my god oh my god no, 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 no. Get out of here. Get out of here. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Holy sh... That is terrifying. I'm getting out of here. I'm going back. Nope. 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 Why did I try and do that at night? No. 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 I shouldn't... No. 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 I shouldn't have done that. And I went at night, too. Of course, that's super smart not following it is it i think we're safe here i think i can jump out and repair this wow that was close eight percent it survived with eight percent i could have been dead there wow that could have been awful a vending machine nice don't know what i'm gonna put in it but i'll take it i already have a trash can non-functioning fluid analyzer grav trap that's just gonna give me titanium sample analyzer doesn't really seem to be anything useful over here yeah i don't really want to spend my time searching for the life pod that doesn't have coordinates so you know what i think i'm just gonna head to the rendezvous point screw them i know they didn't live anyway no one does just me i'm the only survivor oh wait are there doors that i can wait there's a door that you can just open right there i was about to say are there doors that i can cut through here but you can just open this one let's just go ahead and pop you open thank you what do we got a pda 
integrating new PDA data. Hey, a beacon fragment. Nice. I finally have both beacon fragments. New blue vitals acquired. Stabilizing. Is there anything else in here to scan? Ooh! I can use my repair tool and I can repair this. And then we can open the store. I forgot that that's a thing that you can do. I haven't even been checking to see if I can repair any of these things. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. You had me repair my way into this room for absolutely nothing. There's literally nothing in here. There's a mobile vehicle bay fragment. That's it. That's it. We're going to kind of look for a life pod over here, but I'm not super hopeful of finding anything. Try and keep our eyes open for any scannables like a propulsion cannon. Well, there's a laser cutter fragment, but I don't need that. I already have that. And now I'm hitting fish, which is destroying my pod here. My sea moth. And I need to make sure it's full HP because I was super close to losing it last time we got attacked by the reaper leviathan and i do not want this thing to explode i do not want to have to build another one these fish man these fish are doing some damage i doubt this is going to be a propulsion cannon nope another laser cutter fragment boo again another laser cutter fragment wow lots of laser cutter fragments out here it's dark over here hey threw off Scanner room fragment. I don't need that. Propulsion cannon. That's it. That's what we're looking for. That's why we came out here. I was hoping maybe we could find that along with the other life pod. But honestly, as long as I have that, I don't care that much about the other life pod. Like I said, we know they're all dead. We know we're the only survivors. Get what we need and get the hell out of here. Another propulsion cannon. Don't need that one though. I already got it. Now, if I happen to find some Cyclops pieces that I can scan, that would be great. Which I think that's what these... I think that's what that might be. I don't know what this one is. Hey, can you stop? Holy crap. These sand sharks, man. Did you just come out of the rock? What the hell? No, leave me alone. Okay, this is scanner room, which I don't need. But I'm gonna scan it anyway. Cyclops engine fragment. Okay, I do need that one. I gotta make sure those spiky things don't get me. Dang. Well, we got our propulsion cannon fragment. That's what really matters. Now we're gonna go to the rendezvous point. I'm gonna keep my eyes open for any scannable parts along the way. But I don't want to lose my sea moth here. I keep getting attacked by these sand sharks and I'm already at my maximum depth. So I'm just going to start heading that way and we'll see if we find anything along the way. Oh, here's another Cyclops engine fragment. So I think there's three different fragments. Engine, hull, and uh, something else. But you have to get three pieces of all three parts. So it actually takes nine parts to unlock the Cyclops. And we have scanned two of them so far. Oh, there's a third engine fragment. Wow. That's going to finish off the engine fragments for us. I got to make sure these spiky things don't hit me. There we go. Another sand shark. I actually think the sand sharks are the little ones. I don't really know what those are. This is a scanner room fragment, right? Yeah, it is. I don't need a scanner room fragment. New radio message. I already have one that I haven't even listened to yet. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. This is where you go when you're ready to go deep, deep. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no, that's the ghost Leviathan. I need to get out of here. Holy crap. Holy cow. No, please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. I'm at 31%. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm going to the surface. Holy crap. Are you still chasing? Okay, it's not chasing me. Wow, that was scary. Holy cow. Oh. It is so dark. It is so, 
so dark. There's like, you can't see anything. It's so deep. That's terrifying. It's terrifying how deep it is. You can't see anything. Wow. So we're going to the rendezvous point over there, but I'm still trying to scour the bottom for scannables. Yeah, I definitely don't want to go too deep down there. What is that? Oh, that's another piece of the ship. All right, there might be some scannables around here for us. I see a prawn suit drill arm. Let's go. In the next episode, we're for sure going to the Aurora to get the prawn suit now that we have the propulsion cannon. And then if I can get this drill arm, I just need one more. If I can get this drill arm, we'll be doing great. Did oh, shh. There's a warper. Oh my gosh. Is this something scannable? Is this scan? Please don't warp me. Please don't. Okay, that's not scannable. Please don't warp me. I don't want to be warped. Oh man, we're running into all the scary stuff now. Ah! Drill arms, let's go! What is this? Cyclops depth module. I don't even have the Cyclops yet. Come on. Drill arm fragment, let's go. Yeah, now we're definitely getting the prawn suit in the next episode. There's so many drill arm fragments, what the heck? If you only need two, why are you gonna put like four of them in one location? That's weird. Oh, I actually didn't have the scanner room finished. I thought I did, that's so funny. I actually thought that I had completely finished the scanner room and I had not. I've never really used the scanner room for much. This is crazy. I can't go this deep with the sea moth, so I guess I'll go down here by myself for now. This is so pretty, but also very, very scary. Because we've already seen the ghost leviathan once. Oh, and there's another warper. Oh, those little pretty ray things are cool. <gasps> yes, uranium. I'll take that, or uraninite, I think is what it's actually called. I think it's called uraninite. I'm going, 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 I'm going. Oh, shh. I went too far. I went way too far. No way. No way. I thought I could make it in time. I didn't realize that I had gone that far. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. You know what? I probably wouldn't have died going that far from my sea moth if I had actually put on my rebreather, which I just did. I put on my rebreather instead of my radiation helmet so that way I'm not burning through oxygen as fast. That's why I ended up drowning. I was just being an idiot and didn't have on the proper equipment. I gathered some resources on my way here and I'm just gonna drop a lot of this stuff in my sea moth. Well, I look forward to exploring this area a lot more in the future, but the time is not now. Right now the time is to head to our rendezvous point. Oh yeah, the floating island. Let's go. Dang, I must have hit something pretty hard there. What the heck? We'll go right here and we will repair this perfect you're 100 percent uh and doing this at night time is not the best time that sucks picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface okay so there should be two peaks that we have to get to the top of here and there's like a little uh base at each peak so there's one up there you can kind of see the base from here i love how the character like twists the sea glide as he's walking like this that's really funny i can't see anything okay we need to go up that okay now we're finding the way up here let's work our way up to the top right as the sun's coming up too that's awesome i think it's gonna make us go this way and Voila, we've made it to the top at sunrise. There is the Aurora. And look at that beautiful sunrise. Uh, does it suck that our ship has been destroyed? Yes. 
Does it suck that we're all alone? Depends on how much you like your coworkers. If you don't like your coworkers, then uh, it might be nice to be stranded here by yourself. See, there's another one over there that we're gonna have to go visit. Okay, let's uh, explore. Water, thank you. I can make water myself, but I will definitely grab some lantern fruit. And we will make sure to scan all of these indoor grow beds and things. Anything else? Um, oh, I got stuck. I'll take a lantern fruit so that way I can grow some lantern fruit myself. A spotlight. Nice. I wonder if I can use that. Uh, if I can set up a bunch of those spotlights around my home, keep the whole place lit up. There was not a whole lot at this base. Hopefully there's more at the other one. I know you do take fall damage in this game, but you don't if you hit water. So like I could jump off the top into the water and be fine, but not going to do that. We're just going to go to the top of this other hill. Hopefully this one has some better stuff for us. I need the melons. I think you get melons from here and they're really good because they give you food and water, like a lot of food and water. They are probably the best food source because you can put them in your Cyclops in a grow bed and you can grow them indoors and basically have unlimited food and water from one thing. Oh, bulkhead. Cool. Didn't realize I could scan that. I guess that just gives you a different door option for your base. I kind of like that. Yes, we will pick the melon for sure. We'll pick the Chinese potato as well. There we go. So now I have all of these. I can plant all of those. That's perfect. I don't need to gather too many of them. I just need the ones. Integrating new PDA data. I just need the ones that I don't have yet, which I don't have any of them. I just need one of each and then I can plant more. Ah, I forgot there's a base at the bottom too. Okay. Well, let's shimmy our way down here. It looks like we can just run straight down to this one. Nice. I like that. I like the just straight drop down. Is this a propulsion cannon or a repulsion cannon or something? Oh, stasis rifle. I forgot that a stasis rifle was a thing. I think that allows you to stun enemies. Why are there so many of them? There's way more than you need in one area. Exterior grow bed, perfect. So now I can grow them inside and outside. And I'll just keep scanning these stasis rifles for more titanium, I guess. Ooh, a purple tablet, let's go. Integrating new PDA data. I think I already have these wall planters. Yeah. I already have those scanned. Looks like we need to go around different direction to get in there. There's another spotlight, but we already have that. Looks like I can get in here. Can I get in here? I guess I can't. There's gotta be another way for me to get in here, right? Unless I was supposed to bring a propulsion cannon to move this stuff out of the way. I don't know why I would be expected to do that here. Um, let's try again. Oh, I think you can go in here. Yeah. Ultra glide fins. Nice. Is that going to make me move even faster? That's awesome. Nothing to scan. Use the ladder. PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Take a battery. Another new PDA. Maybe it was the crab that was preventing me from getting in. Maybe just because he was dead right at the doorway, it stopped me from getting in. Well, I think we've got everything that we can get from here. Everything that's going to be beneficial to us. So it's probably time to start heading out of here. I don't know if I can make it up right here or not, but I'm going to give it a good old try. No.
Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, I thought I could make it. There we go. We found a way up and out of there. And now we just got to get back down to the sea moth, which is this direction. There we go. Yeah. Woo. Psh. Nailed it. What a high dive. Welcome aboard, Captain. Time to go home. Where is home? Home is that direction. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go towards home. St still keep my eyes open for any scannables, but mainly I'm happy with the progress we've made, and I think it is time to go home. What is our inventory looking like? Our inventory is full. I can hold one more item. I'm not even gonna bother getting out of my vehicle for one item. So unless we see something scannable. We're just going to keep on trucking. What do we actually need for the propulsion cannon? Because we want to create that before we go to the Aurora in the next one. Ultra glide pins. Well, we definitely want that. But I don't have any lithium right now. Okay, I only need a wiring kit for the propulsion cannon. That'll be easy then. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. Vital signs stabilizing. Welcome aboard, Captain. Do I have two silver with me? Nope, but I can grab two. Boom, boom. And then make out, no, I want this wiring kit. And now propulsion cannon. Alright, I don't have any lithium, so it's probably going to be a little while till I make these. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear those for now. But we do have our propulsion cannon. So we can throw in here. Nice, that's going to make it to where we can go to the Aurora in the next episode. Let's try and get some food going first. We need a habitat builder real quick. And that's exterior. Where's our interior? Indoor grow bed. Nice. Oh yeah, for this one, you have to if you slice this, you'll get seeds from it. And then you can plant the seeds and let them all grow. I think it's too small for me to hit right now. Probably have to wait till it gets a little bit bigger, but we've got plenty of stuff growing now. So we've got food, we got water, we got shelter. We're doing great. We had some nice scares. This episode did not go the way that I thought it was gonna go. I did not expect to run into a Reaper Leviathan. I did not expect to run into a Ghost Leviathan, but it happened. But luckily we have everything we need to go into the Aurora in the next episode, stop it from leaking radiation. Then we will no longer need the radiation suit. So that'll free up some space in our inventory. And then we can go look for all the Cyclops fragments after that. So I'm going to end this episode here and I'll see you all in the next one.